Delaware Pavilion. It was built in 1935, commissioned by the Ninth Earl Delaware, and created by the architects Serge Chemayev and Eric Mendelssohn, two emigre architects during the 30s, uh, who then went on to create greater things internationally. The building, over a period of 70 years, has gone through various changes, uh, various additions, various subtractions, um, until three years ago when we completed a very significant refurbishment program that in many respects brought the pavilion back into the, the style with which it was created, which is very much about air and about light and about world-class culture. And since opening three years ago, just under three years ago, We've attracted over half a million people here every year for a mixed programme of fine art, exhibitions and contemporary music, as well as a touch of classical and a touch of opera and a touch of whatever you might fancy, um, as well as serving the best coffee and the best food in the town. I say it myself. So you've recently run a, won a Reber Award. Um, could you tell us a bit more about that and also the follow-on to that because then that goes through to another yeah. stage, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, the Reber Awards are an annual programme of awards uh, that are given to architects and the buildings that they create. And this year's award, we've now that we've completely finished the refurbishment programme, has been put forward on behalf of John McCasin and Partners, our lead architects. And we were shortlisted and finally won um, the regional RIB award uh, for best building. And that award, all those award winners around the country, then go forward next, next month for the final national award, in, which includes the Sterling Award. The Sterling Prize for Architecture and we very much hope that we're going to be firmly in the running for that and not just because you know because we're a 75 year old building but also the fantastic work that's been done to it and it's kind of really as I said earlier it's brought the building back into what it should be and people realize why it really deserves its grade one listed status so, um, what, what does the Sterling Prize and the Reba Award give to, I mean, what can you see it bringing to the Delaware, apart from the status and, and, and the recognition, it's such a well-known architecture award, especially the Sterling Prize, um, but the Reba Award as well, is there, is there any um, kind of extra funding that would come in? Is there a financial award to help with the upkeep of the building at all, in any way? Or what, what form does the prize take? It doesn't come with a cheque. Right. There's no, there's no money attached. Uh -huh. and, but it's that thing called sort of status and acknowledgement. And sort of it gives us a, a stronger ambassadorial role for quality design, for quality architecture, which in the long run does attract a lot more people to the building. And from time to time brings to the attention of certain patrons and philanthropists that acknowledge the fact what a fantastic building can we support it in any way. But I think the important thing is, you know, because we do like winning prizes, um, and we've won a, a Re we've won a Reba Award several years ago for our new bandstand, and we've won several other business awards for what we've now brought to this community. Um, so it'll join our collection, but it also just gives us the recognition that we, you know we always would say the building deserves, and um, and it gets a lot of media attention. And I think the media love to kind of grab hold of buildings and, in a sense, get a public opinion, a public vote on is modern architecture good or bad. Well, as I said earlier, they were 75 years old, and it's still the shock of the old. Mm. This is still as modern 
as it was when it was built in 1935. Um, and we hope that with the refurbishment, we've enforced that sort of modernist brand and not tried to detract from it in any way whatsoever. Okay, and um, could you tell us about um, the, the new parts of the building? Because I hear that you've got some new parts that are, are they open yet? And could you tell us a bit more about those and what they're there for? Yes, but I mean, let me first say, obviously, there are new parts within the original building that mm -hmm. we've created, as, you know, which I think we're being recognised within the Reva Awards. You know, we've now created uh, possibly one of the largest um, contemporary spaces for exhibitions in the South East. Um, you know, it's already receiving that kind of national and regional recognition for being an important venue for exhibitions. Um, but in terms of the two new builds, we've, we've built ourselves um, some, a humble set of offices, which interestingly enough, when the building was created in 35, they didn't build offices. So I don't know where the staff worked, but we've had to remedy that. Um, and we've built, so essentially we've built a pair of matching buildings at the west end of the building. One is specifically for the administration mm -hmm. and the other is, is the studio, which is very much focused on enabling our education programme to flourish, but also enabling um, groups and organisations within the community to come and use us to hire us for meetings and for gatherings and for small seminars, as well as the occasional exhibition. Um, so, you know, and that's, that we've finished, we've almost finished the work, we've just got a few little bits of tidying up to do around the outside, but it's already, it's already active, but um, once, we've, once we've got all the trimmings sorted out, we'll be, in a sense, giving it its proper launch. Uh, maybe later this this year, maybe in the summer, um, and we'll you know maybe make that a bit of a celebration and a bit of a party. Because as well as awards, we like to have a party from time to time to celebrate our achievements and to bring people in to celebrating that achievement. So, if, uh, so have you had much positive feedback from people in Bexhill? Do people in Bexhill know about you winning this prize? Is it? widely broadcast? We're not silent in coming forward, you know, we're not, or sorry, is it slow in coming forward? We certainly make it much, as much noise as we can and, and obviously rely on um, you know, the media and good people like yourselves to help spread that word. But it's, it's, it's great to, 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 you know, when we get phone calls and letters from particularly people locally saying, isn't it wonderful we saw you on the television last night or we read about you in the paper. Um, and it gives us that kind of sense that, you know, we will always have our critics, but the vast majority of people love us to bits. And they love this building. They may not all like modern architecture, but they love this building. Because it has, you know, it has, a, it has something as a plus factor, as an X factor. Mm. And I can't always put my finger on it, but, you know, it's not just about bricks and mortar. There's a, there's, a, there's a fantastic spirit in this building that people thrive on. It makes us all feel very happy. <laughs> so, so is there any particular part of the building that, that you particularly like yourself? I like the same bits that everyone else likes in terms of staircases and floors and terrazzo uh, and windows. Um, but having got to know this building inside and out there are some very there's some very fine detailing in some of the handrails and the aluminium work that would still win prizes if it was invented today so those are little things that I like but as I said as I said earlier I like I like the atmosphere in the building you know that doesn't win prizes except the prize for us is lots of people coming here and enjoying it so, so when's the um, Sterling Prize going to be announced? When will you hear about being, um, you know, short, short list of um, It's, they have a, they have a very, a very fancy awards dinner at the end of June, and at which we, we all have to attend and uh, sit there amongst those that will win prizes and those that will go away 
in some ways disappointed, but everyone that's there will be an award. You know, everyone's a winner, as they say, because we'll all be there because we would have won the regional, one of the regional prizes. So I think we've sort of, you know, we've won the prize. It's just some, sometimes when it goes down to judges, well, in the judges' opinion, and like most competitions, you know, the favourite never always wins. And but we'll, you know we'll be there to sort of um, support the pavilion and support the architects because essentially they're the ones that are responsible for winning the prize. Um, and we just wish ourselves good luck on the night.